Lenny. with the Treasury bill rates, which have risen quite sharply from around 2% to 6.5% since the MPC decision. And of course, after we saw the uh, benchmark interest rates uh, being raised by 25 basis points, of course, the inflationary environment changing quite significantly as well. Uh, why do you think we've seen such a significant increase in the Treasury bill rates? Does it have to do with the MPC decision or do you think there are under other underlying factors that are at play here? Hi, Eleni. Um, thank you. Um, yes, um, I think besides the um, increase in the MP NPR rate from 600 to 65 um, percent, um, another significant decision was the adjustment of the asymmetric corridor um, from 500 basis point below the NPR to 300 basis point below the NPR, um, which effectively increased um, standing deposit rates um, with the central bank by 225 basis point. Um, that immediately sparked um, reaction in the in the treasury bill markets and saw yields um, move up significantly um, uh, in the markets. Mm -hmm. And um, coupled with the fact that the CBN has moved from an accommodative um, um, monetary policy to to a tightening one. Um, we expect that yields will continue to inch off slightly in the short end. Mm. Well, um, you curve. said in, inch, inch off slightly. Where do you expect them to go? We said uh, they've increased from 2% to 6.5%. So where do you peg those yields? Well, they have. Um, the one year is um, currently about 8.25%. I think it might close possibly about 825 to 8.5% um, at the end of the year. Um, the reason um, is the fact that there's also a lot of buying interest at this end of the curve. And so with the, with the buying interest and the fact that the government is also, even though the government is borrowing quite aggressively at this end of the curve, mm -hmm. we will still see those rates possibly about 8.5% for the one year. Touching on at the, end the, of the year. yeah, well, touching on the the long term uh, rates at this point in time because it seems that they are starting to track inflation far more closely over the last three months. And given the fact that the September inflation figure is currently at thirteen point six percent, where do you pick those long term uh, yields? Uh, for the long term yields, um, yes, they will continue to track inflation. And um, I also think that we do not um, see, at least particularly in the short term, um, the short term see. Um, Long, long yields, long-term yields easing in the short term at all. Um, also, the fact that investors seem to shy away from buying um, at this end of the curve. A lot of buying interest more um, between the one to five years um, than the 20 years. Um, so you will, we will continue to see an uptick. Um, last yesterday's auction, 20-year closed at 14 percent. And we do not see this easing anytime soon. Mm. Well, just taking a look at some of the, the news out as well, flows, uh, bond flows are going from Nigeria to Ghana purely because investors are looking for higher yields. Do you think it's be it is the yield play at this point in time or do you think there's a risk factor at hand here? Um, it's it's, it's um, strictly a yield play. Um, what we saw in Nigeria um, at the beginning of the year, when you saw 20-year close go as low as 9%, um, obviously, and the fact there was no volatility at all in the FX market to spark any sort of interest in the carry trade, um, we started seeing flows into Ghana from Nigeria, just purely on the back of the fact that there were just no yields um, attractive enough in the Nigerian market. And um, yes, we have seen these flows into Ghana, but then don't forget that the Ghana market is in that deep, so there's so much you can accommodate in terms of flows. Um, but having said that, um, we have started to see investors, particularly in, in the treasury bill market and the one year to five year bonds, um, the interest has started to come back into the local markets, then you know, the flows going into Ghana. Mm. Uh, what about flows moving from the bond market into the equity markets? I mean, I was alluding to earlier that we saw nice uh, gains year to date for the NSE all share. And of course, things starting to uh, stabilize at this point in time and perhaps taper off as we head towards the end of the year. What are you hearing from, uh, you know, bond flows into equity flow perspective? Yeah, I, I will agree with that. Um, I, I think investors um, seem to be overweighted in terms of fixed income um, because there was a lot of buying um, of, of, of fixed income securities at the beginning of the year. Um, we have seen some sort of stability um, in the equity market and we started to see even the PFAs um, starting to take positions back in the equity market again. Um, equity and the money market, not just the equity market, there's a lot of flows as well in just you know, the normal money market placements that you would, um, investors had stopped doing because the interest rates were particularly low. Mm -hmm. But as, as, interest, as yields in the treasury bills have started to go up, yields on money market deposits are also going up. We started to see a lot of um, flows into that market and the equity market as well. Highly anticipated Amcon, it's said that it is going to be in play by the end of the year. That is said to also bring more liquidity into the market. What kind of impact do you think it's going to have on the bond market if we do see that flow of money? Hmm. 
Um, Amcon, I think this year I would say that I would expect Amcon to make the big decisions this year in terms of um, M&A decisions, in terms of how much it's going to buy or take off the books um, of the distressed banks. Um, CBN has made very strong pronouncements on M&A decisions, so we expect that to come in on board probably before the end of this year. Um, Amcon becoming fully operational, probably Q1 2011. Um, in terms of the liquidity, um, the, bank, the bonds will be given to the banks and we expect that they will be repoed um, as liquidity is required and we do not expect a big hit of liquidity. Um, but naturally, if there is one, um, you would expect asset prices to go up in the markets.